Well, hello there and welcome back to our channel RJ Automobile, a channel of YouTube on which we discuss about each and every part of an automobile. So in order to that, today we have a very interesting topic, CRDI. So what is a CRDI? You might have seen on the back of some cars like Hyundai, there was written CRDI. So what is a CRDI? Why you purchase that car which have the CRDI engine? What is the advantages of that CRDI engine? So in order to learn about the system, please sit back relax and watch our video till the very last second. So guys, our today's topic is CRDI. CRDI stands for Common Rail Direct Fuel Injection System. It is also a type of a conventional fuel injection system. The only additional thing is the common rail. Because of this common rail, the system can work at the very high pressure around 1000 to 2000 bar. So how this system works? First of all, the fuel is sucked by, the, by this fuel pump and at that time, this fuel passes through the primary filter. This primary filter has a capacity of filtration of 5 microns. It is also called fuel water separator. Some amount of the water is present in the fuel which is separated in this primary filter. After that, because of the high pressure fuel pump, this fuel is sucked from here and goes through the secondary fuel filter and this filter has the capacity of 2 micron filtration. From this secondary fuel filter some unwanted materials are separated and after that because of this high pressure fuel pump fuel is passes through this common rail. And this common rail actually this common rail is also a kind of a reservoir on which some amount of the fuel is reserved for fuel injectors. There are the four fuel injectors you can have a look here there are four pipelines for the fuel injectors first second third and fourth and the fifth five uh, pipeline which is called a fuel return line when the excess amount of the uh, fuel is present in this common rail at that time the fuel uh, some amount of the fuel is passes through this fuel return line and uh, again it goes to the fuel tank so for the combustion fuel is injected through this uh, through this pipeline to the injectors. The fuel is directly injected to the cylinder and combustion takes place. After that injection, some amount of unwanted fuel is present in this injector. That fuel comes out from this pink line, which is also a fuel return line. There is a four fuel return line for the each injectors. What amount of the fuel is injected in the cylinder is decided by the ECU means engine control unit. This ECU controls the amount of the fuel injected inside the engine cylinder. So this is the process of CRDI and uh, this CRDI system is works in a very high pressure around 1000 to 2000 bar and because of that it have uh, because of that it has a uh, lots of advantages like because of this system 25% more power and torque will be generated for the vehicle and low vibration and noise is produced high mi uh, higher mileage of the vehicle lower emission low fuel consumption hence improved in the performance it has a uh, lots of advantages over a single disadvantage which is the high cost it takes some cost but it is a very effective and a very efficient so thanks for watching guys our channel RG Automobile if you like our videos please give us a big fat thumbs up and share with your friends and press the bell icon below means subscribe our channel